Airtable just released a new vibe coding feature, and this is pretty exciting. A few weeks ago, we reported on a new alpha program for developers where you could work with something like Cursor or Windsurf to be able to AI generate code and upload that into Airtable to create your own custom interface components. But overall, that's still a pretty technical process if you're not a developer. Now Airtable's released something much more akin to a Lovable where you simply prompt inside of Airtable Omni to generate the component that you want. And the best part is, at least during this alpha program, it's entirely free and accessible on any plan. If you're on a free plan and you're in your workspace, simply click on this menu option here and go to Workspace Settings and make sure that you have this Get Early Access to New AI Features, their AI Labs toggled to on. And if you're on a business or enterprise scale plan, you can click on your admin panel. And from there, you can click on settings, click on AI settings, and then make sure that the same toggle is on to get early access to new AI features. Now, when it comes to building the component, we have a couple different options. One is you could have a dashboard and you could have your component be a single element on that dashboard. If you want to do that, you're gonna to need to make sure that your dashboard is already open on the page when you do your prompting. On the other hand, if you want the component to be an entire interface page, then you can start your prompting from anywhere else. You don't have to be on a dashboard page. You can just start from wherever you are and it's gonna create that full width component. So in the spirit of back to school time, at least in the US, I want to create a seating chart generator where we can take all of our students by class and add them to a seating chart. I sometimes find it helpful when I'm using vibe coding tools like Zite or Lovable or now Airtable to take my thoughts and have them condensed by something like ChatGPT to give me a more structured output, something that I can take and directly paste into the editor itself. So I'm gonna copy this output from ChatGPT and go back into Airtable Omni. We'll paste this here and then make sure that you click on this tools area and this is where you're going to see that AI generated element. Okay, let's see how this did after a single prompt. So this took about three minutes for it to generate the code. Once it did, it created this new interface for us. Already looking good, we've got our class selector here. And let me choose a class. So I'll select geometry and we've got a list of students. Let's see if that updates when we click. Yep, so we are now having our own filter on here to select our students. Over on the side, we were able to tap into our custom properties. So we asked it to allow us to select the number of rows and columns. So let's see if this is dynamic, as in we can update this. Maybe we only want to have two rows and we want to have 12 columns. So that's pretty cool. We can select this on the fly and it's gonna update those properties. I'm gonna change this back to maybe six and we'll do four here. And now let's try clicking on a student and dragging them to one of these placements. And here we can see this functionality does not work, at least on the UI side. It might be updating it on the back end, but we don't see that to us as users on the front end. And I did this use case intentionally as an example because I've typically found that vibe coding tools are a little bit tricky when it comes to an interactive canvas element where we're actually clicking and dragging things. Now, if you just want to display structured data, like you have addresses and you want to display them on a map, that's usually pretty easy to do with a single shot. But let's just give it a try here and see if we can give it some feedback, just saying, hey, we can't actually drag the student's name into the seating chart to see if it can fix it. So after a second prompt here, if I click on a student name and try to assign it, still no luck, it didn't fix the issue. Now, another issue here is that we're not getting any kind of feedback inside of Omni. So I gave it this second prompt and it just asks me how the changes look, but it didn't tell me what it did or its approach or any kind of feedback. Now, the good news, if you are a developer, you can come over here into this overflow menu and actually download the source code. Now you could take that source code and go in the other way we talked about, which is if you're a developer and you're using Cursor or Windsurf and you want to update that code and push it back into Airtable, now you have the foundation of what was done in Airtable that you can use in your code. But that honestly doesn't seem very helpful for most people because they're not a developer. And so going through the code path to be able to push the code and deploy it just seems like an extra set of steps. So if I was gonna put some more elbow grease into this and try to finish this off so that it worked, my next step would be to create a custom debug UI 
where we'd have another tab that we could click on to display any kind of error messages, even if it's not necessarily errors in the code, but just to help create maybe a JSON object where we could have, hey, a student now matches this seat to see if it's more a UI problem and displaying it, or if it's more a backend logic issue and how we're actually storing that. And I tell you this just to be super transparent about where Vibe Coding Tools are currently at. You'll see a lot of YouTube videos where people single shot a website or a really simple to-do list app. But the reality is if you try to build something a little bit more complex, a little bit more interactive, it's not gonna happen in just a single prompt. You're going to have to debug it, uncover issues, and incrementally improve it. So what I'd really like to see from Airtable next is some better tools to help us debug this so that we can get information back so we can constantly iterate. The other big limitation that I see right now, and this is true whether you do the more vibe coded version or the code version, is that you can only pull data from a single table. So in this app, I have a student's table and I have a class's table, and I could display information from the class that a student's in by way of lookups. But if I want to actually display data from two tables simultaneously, that's currently not possible. So overall, I think this is a great start for Airtable. It's really exciting to see their initial Omni functionality paired with vibe coding functionality. So overall, I think this is a really great start for Airtable, being able to pair what they have with Omni with this new vibe coding functionality. And I think there's a distinct advantage over tools like Lovable, where this is already built around your data in Airtable's database so that you can better structure internal apps. And this will work great for easy use cases that you can single shot. But if you have a more complex use case, that's where you're probably still going to use code. If you have any questions about your own Airtable build, don't hesitate to reach out to our website at automationhelpers.com where we're offering free consultations.